Hi guys, welcome back to Lifestyle Love. This video is part of our, I guess, food efficiency playlist, which is all about helping you get as much value for money out of your food and nutrition. So the other day, Leela and I were talking about, you know, how much money um, we waste on food and how much food we waste. And Leela had some really interesting sort of, I guess, facts and figures about like per household, what this amount really is. Well, yeah, the statistic in Australia is that we waste 345 kilos per household per year on food, which yeah. is an extraordinary amount. Huge. So if you think about bananas, you know, that cost however much a kilo, we're wasting 345 kilos. That doesn't sound that much, but if you think about meat being, mm. you know, 20 or $30 a kilo, that is a lot of money yeah. over the whole year. So essentially the wastage could be up to like a $10,000 worth of food just basically literally into the bin and we were talking about how some people think they can't afford certain foods mm. and we had a good playlist for you about yeah. what foods you should definitely invest in which is called foods worth yeah investing <laughs> in so, yeah, that's it. Yeah. so if you think about how you stop wasting food save some money on wasting food and then you can put that into the food that you really need to mm. invest in for your health so increasing the quality of the food so there's less wastage yeah so this video, we've come up with five um, tips and tricks as to how to reduce your wastage. And Leila, you're going to start it off. <laughs> oh, so my top tip for people is to make sure that your kitchen and your pantry and your fridge are clean and organized. So we all hate walking into an unorganized space. If you walk in and the kitchen's just a mess, I just go, oh, I can't be bothered cooking. Mm, it's all too Stuff hard. it, I'll get mm. takeaway, I'll eat crap, uh, whatever. That's mm. just... Even takeaways are expensive. Yeah, takeaways are mm. really expensive. Mm. The other thing is, you don't know what's in your fridge or your pantry if you can't see it. Mm. So by getting Just organized, like your, clothes, your, your wardrobe. Yeah. Mm. I make sure that I keep everything in glass containers, all the leftovers, everything, so I can see exactly what's in there and I know that I have to use it. I also have a system. Um, we'll probably do a video later. Yes, I'll we're show you definitely going to do a video <laughs> on how to organize your pantry. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, my um, my tip is, I guess. Cook once, eat twice. So, you know, especially for say single people or um, couples or families, just when you cook, uh, make, you know, a larger serving so that you can divide that. And that can be your, you know, dinner for tonight and then your lunch for tomorrow. So, and it also will mean that you eat a little bit less, which is obviously always good for our waistlines as well as our wallets. But yeah, cook once, eat twice, and make the most of your Tupperware containers. You know, when you're serving your plate, whatever is left over, put straight into the Tupperware container so that you can put it into the fridge after it's cooled down, and there is your lunch for tomorrow. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So when we cook twice, sometimes it's good to get to our third tip is about freezing meals. Mm. So I, again, I have all glass containers, so when I make food, I can put that straight in the freezer, I can pull it straight out, defrost it, put it in the oven. Mm. So always, sometimes I will cook for four. The other thing is to freeze leftovers. So quite often people don't eat the entire meal, they just throw it in the bin. Or I give it to the dogs. Yeah, which is, so yeah. Which is why Giuseppe is on a diet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So it's really important that we take that food. Like I remember when I was a kid, my mum used to do this thing where every week we would have like left overnight. So she would take everything out of the fridge, reheat it, and we would just eat all of it, a whole mishmash of stuff. So that could be, you know, half steak from one night, a leftover serving mm. spaghetti bolognese, whatever it is, we would just eat it all up. And you can take things like, you know, like that bit of meat and turn it into a steak sandwich Absolutely. or a steak salad. Like, there's so many things you can, you can ma maximize the, you know, the usage of that food. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. The next one is, uh, which is my tip. And this is one that I picked up from doing um, my frugal February or financial fast as um, I like to call it is planning your meals. So, you know, looking at your diary, say on a Sunday night and going, all right, for the for Monday night, I'm going to eat this. For Tuesday night, I'm going to eat that. Wednesday night, like plan your foods and obviously match them against your activities so you know when you're going to be working late or, or when you're going to be maybe eating out with friends so you don't buy food for that night. And when you go to the, the supermarket, only buy what is on that food plan. Don't deviate. Don't start adding all these like um, high sugar, fatty, snacky, snacky meals in there. Stick to what is just on your food plan. Don't deviate. And I know for myself, I'm such a sucker for this. I see things in the checkout, and the, you know, the little things on special, and think, oh, I'll grab that for Rocco, or my, and I end up actually eating it myself. But stick strictly to your food plan for the week. Absolutely. And the other thing is to make pay attention to what you don't use. So 
I had a girlfriend, I'd go to her house for coffee every week and every week she'd sit there and empty her fridge from all the food that they hadn't eaten. And after a few weeks I started thinking, she keeps throwing out the same food every week. Mm. Maybe no one in her house likes broccoli, how about we stop buying broccoli? Yeah. So be conscious about what you're throwing out, um, be conscious of how much you're using. If you get to the end of the week and you've still got a fridge left of groceries, maybe you don't need to buy mm. so much. Exactly, yeah. And it, yeah, it's amazing how quickly those things can add up and also it's... it's it doesn't when you look in your fridge and you see food that's going off you just don't feel inspired to cook and mm. you know it, it can kind of get you down a bit when you think oh well, what's the point i just waste all this money on food yeah. mm. okay so there are top five tips on how to stop wasting um food we hope you've liked it if you haven't already you should definitely check out leela's channel momentum for life and we will be doing some more videos we promise we'll make you that video on how to organize your pantry and I think we should also do, do one on how to organize your fridge because mine is a disgrace. <laughs> sure. um, okay, so we'll see you next time on Lifestyle Love as part of the Food Efficiency Playlist. Bye! Bye. <laughs>